January 16th, 2023, we're in Canada. This aircraft overran the runway and came onto the street. Here you can see there was a fuel spill. So they're taking care of that with the kitty litter. Good job to the firefighters. There was two on board. They were medically treated with minor injuries. And this aircraft took off from Toronto Buttonville Municipal Airport. Shortly after takeoff, they declared it a mayday. Loss of engine power, turned around, tried to land on runway 33, overshot runway 33, and went through the airport fence, as you can see there, and then went into the street right at the end of the runway. So you can see there's the airport fence, and then it came right through here. And uh, spun a little bit and ended up resting on this roadway. And this aircraft is a pretty awesome aircraft. It's a Slingsby T-67C Firefly. Um, Charlie, Foxtrot Charlie Yankee Golf was the tail number. But this thing looks very maneuverable. Lights up the sky. Can definitely see why they call it a Firefly. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this aircraft. But it does look like it can perform some stunts. That's for sure. And then here we are back to the scene. You can see they did put all that killer down. Um, no fire. And uh, they got those people to the hospital to get treated. Some damage to the aircraft. And they went ahead and lifted it off. Took it on the flatbed to get inspected. And uh, to see what happened to cause it here in Canada. So moving on, January 14th, 2023, we're in Conroe, Texas. This Pitts Model 12 aircraft crashed into the trees, hit some power lines. There was a, a pilot and passenger. They had minor injuries, luckily. This is the aircraft here, Pitts Model 12, November 512 Papa. And they departed runway 14 at Conroe North Houston Regional Airport and flew for about three and a half minutes before uh, having a loss of engine power. They climbed to 2,000 feet and tried to turn around, ended up on Longmire Road. You can see this biplane uh, in pretty bad shape. And I'm just glad that the people had minor injuries because this doesn't look good here on the street. And this is the flight aware. Not in the air for very long. Here's some more information. Ended up on that uh, near Long Meyer Road. I had to land on the uh, go for an open field. And here's some backstory. So November 512 Papa, built by Mark Jones, 62nd Model 12 to fly. Completed his first two flights on April of 2013 after five years of building. So very sad for this aircraft. You can see down here there was a lot of people that came together to work on this aircraft. And uh, they finally got it flying. So uh, very unfortunate that the aircraft crashed. But again, it's good that uh, everybody was okay on these two. Please subscribe to the channel for further aviation news. This is Arfaram Keone. I'll see you guys next time.